And it is my great pleasure now to introduce one of those colleagues, Michael Ryan, who is our Sue M. Weinberg Director of our Patricia D. Clancy Library. This will be a pleasure. You know, we are really quite a family. You probably were not thinking of yourselves this evening as a family, but we are a family. We all know Dorothy Goldman, that's why we're here today. And we know Dorothy in a variety of different settings and contexts. Some of us are from museums, some from libraries, some from historical societies, foundations, religious institutions, educational institutions, and the list goes on, and I can be exhausted trying to name them all. But we're here tonight, and we're here to celebrate a remarkable friend and colleague. Dorothy, of course, is also a collector, and the groups of reverence are on display in the gallery. Dorothy's collection of federal and state constitutions is remarkable in many ways, as you will see. I wanted to briefly call attention to some of the highlights I want to show when he does. Star of the show is the original printing of our Constitution. This is a document which you've probably seen in fact similarly many times, but look closely because this is the only copy we think in private hands today and it's Dorothy's possession, and it's on display with us. Also on display is a, is a slip copy of the Bill of Rights. It's a slip copy meaning it was the penultimate version of the Bill of Rights as it went before the Congress to vote on it. Also on display is a manuscript of the 12th Amendment. The 12th Amendment, what could be important about that? Well, the 12th Amendment actually is more relevant today than than you might think if you even knew what it was about. It basically mandated that the president and the vice president had to run on a single ticket. Previously, the vice president was the guy who got the second most, the second highest vote tally in a general election. That created the possibility of coalition government. Coalition government was ruled out by the 12th Amendment, which said they have to run as a ticket. So basically, the winner-take-all politics that we see today is the creation of the 12th Amendment. And you can see a manuscript copy of that on display. The state constitutions really tell the story of our republic in a new and fascinating way. Uh, they remind us of how important the states were in experimenting with positions and policies and issues that later either, either fail or succeed, but often get enacted on a national level. So you can see in the exhibit a string of, let's say, antebellum state constitutions, which deal with the key issues of the period, foremost among them being slavery, the admission of states to the Union, and profligate banks. Um, we have a series of constitutions uh, after the Civil War documenting reconstructions, these remarkable Southern constitutions that create free and open societies. We also have on display constitutions that we introduced, that introduced Jim Crow and close them down again. Women's suffrage and prohibition are all enacted on state levels before they become federal law, and so forth. Taken as a whole, these remarkable documents really do demonstrate the importance of studying state constitutions and state activity. It really is a harbinger of things to come. Since all of you know Dorothy, we know one thing for sure about her. She is passionate. She is very passionate. She's very passionate about her friends, and she's very passionate about her collections. Dorothy's collection of constitutions is not just a collector's display of trophies. Rather, it represents Dorothy's deeply held commitment to the ideals embedded in these documents, to the traditions they reflect, to the legacies they preserve. No one is more passionate about civics and civic engagement than Dorothy. No one is more, is more uh, 
promoting of civic education in Dorothy. This exhibit is more than just a display. It's an invitation to reconnect with the bases of our democratic republic and so to share in Dorothy's passion. As Dorothy writes at the conclusion of her exhibit, it is my deepest wish that this exhibition of highlights from my collection will inspire everyone to believe in our institutions, our rule of law, and our historical transformation from colonists to American citizens. Dorothy Goldman.